So for this example, we're gonna use the exact same steps. What I want you to do now is pause the video and count the number of students who chose each sport as their favorite sport. So go ahead and pause it and then hit play once you've counted the number of students who chose each sport as their favorite. Nice work. So just check your work real quick. Be sure that we got the same numbers. We did the first step. The next step will be to find the total number of students who answered this survey. That means you need to add them all up. Pause the video, add them up, hit play when you're ready to see the total. All right, if you added those all up, you found out that there were 40 total students. Good job, we did step two. Now let's find each percent. Remember, a way to make this much, much easier is to simplify each of these fractions first. So pause the video, simplify the fractions, and then once you've simplified them, hit play again. Nice, here are our simplified fractions, and those are gonna be so much better when we write our percent proportions. Yes, indeed, these simplified fractions are going to play nice. It's not gonna be hard to find our percentages now. Um, so now that we have our percent proportion set up with simplified fractions, um, let's solve them and figure out our value of x or our percentage for each category. Pause the video, find the value of x for each proportion, and hit play once you've done that. Nice work. Um, and one thing to notice after you've solved your percent proportions, you should always find that the values you get will add up to 100. Um, that's because we are adding up to 100%. That's the case here, so that tells us we have probably done this right. So we have found that 30% of the students prefer basketball, 20% prefer football, 15% prefer soccer, 25% prefer swimming, and 10% prefer baseball. Now, to make a percent bar graph, we're going to need a key. With the M&Ms, I just use the color of each M&M. For these sports, there's not like a color that goes with each sport, so I'm just going to choose a color for each sport to make my bar graph. So I just chose orange for basketball, red for football, blue for soccer, green for swimming, and yellow for baseball. It doesn't matter which color you choose, as long as you tell um, whoever's reading your bar graph which color which corresponds to which category. All right, so starting off with basketball. We need basketball to be 30%. That first box is always easy because it starts at zero, we don't, and we don't have to figure out where it ends. It'll end at the percentage that it represents. So for football, we're gonna start at 30. It's 20%. 30 plus 20 is 50. So we'll start at 30 and we'll end at 50. Next is soccer. For soccer, we're gonna start at 50. We add 15, because 15% of the students chose soccer which means we're gonna end at 65. So start at 50, end at 65. All right, soccer's looking good. Let's do swimming. We're gonna start at 65, right where soccer ended. We need to add 25% so that our bar represents 25%. So that means we're gonna end at 90. We'll start at 65 and we'll end at 90. That'll give us a bar that's 25%. Wonderful, there's swimming. Now let's look at baseball. So for baseball, we're gonna start at 90. We're gonna add 10% and hooray! We'll end at 100, which is where we always should end with a percent bar graph. There we go, so there's our percent bar graph. It shows us visually a very easy way to see proportionally um, what, por what fraction of the students prefer each sport and it tells us the percentage for each category very quickly as well.